Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Cohen's H, or actually H2, for a one sample, because uh, Cohen's H is also used for paired samples. This is an effect size measure that you could use if you have an exact binomial test, for example. And I'm using um, Jupyter Lab uh, with Python 3. So, um, the formula for um, H2 is actually uh, phi1 minus the phi from the expected uh, proportion and phi is calculated by taking two times the arcsine of the square root of the proportion. Now Cohen actually also gives a table for interpretations or actually he gives the thresholds 0 0.2, 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 uh, for small, medium and large. So I assume that's then like this. Um, that's actually Cohen's H uh, that those uh, interpretations are given for, so we need to convert that H2 to an H, which can be done simply by multiplying it by the square root of 2. So let's, uh, let's see how that goes with Python. Well, um, I'm going to be loading some example data and I'm going to be using uh, pandas for that. So first I need to import pandas, uh, shift enter or control enter if you like. If you never installed pandas before then that will not work. So then you first need to install it by probably using uh, exclamation sign pip install pandas. Now I load my data file which is actually um, a CSV file with a separator being the semicolon. And I'm simply going to store that under my DF, short for my uh, data frame. I'm going to be using gender as an example from this uh, data frame. So let's have a quick look at that, what that looks like. So my data frame, then the name of the variable, which was generic underscore gender in this case, and then values counts gives you the, um, the basic counts in there. And let's also see the results. So when I press enter here, or shift enter, sorry, uh, there were 34 people who said male and 12 who said female, and there were no other options. Um, so we actually need to convert these to proportions that could be done by simply first uh, determining the sum. There is a function in Python sum, so we can simply do that. Uh, so there's 46, quick check, 34 plus 12 is indeed 46. Then we can divide those counts um, by the sum and then we actually have the proportions. So shift enter. And it's about 73, 74% male, and so times 100 gives you percentages, 26% female. Now, I'm going to be using as an expected proportion that this would have been 50-50, similar as in the binomial test. I have a separate video on how to perform a binomial test with Python. Um, and now we can finally get to calculating that Cohen's H. I'm going to be using uh, the a sign uh, function for that. So that's actually in the math library. So I'm going to import that. It comes with Python, so you don't need to install it first. Um, I'll do both categories, so phi1 and phi2. And those are simply the proportions. Uh, so proportion and then um, the index 0 and the index 1. Also, the one that we definitely also need is the one from the expected proportion. And then simply print both of them out. So this should give me all three of them. Shift enter and I have now all three fees. Now the Kramer's H or H2 I should say is now simply the difference between any of V1 and V2 with uh, that one from the expected proportion VC. So I can do that. Uh, the only difference between the two is uh, uh, here it's a positive and if I would use uh, the second one then it's the same result, but then negative. Um, you can actually, if you want to avoid all of this, you can uh, use a uh, stats model stats proportion and then import proportion effect size. Uh, you probably then first need to install it. So pip install stats models, and then you can actually use it. So first I already installed it, so I'm not going to do that again. So I'm going to load that uh, method, and then I can simply give it the two proportions. Uh, and that should give me the same result, 0 0.4986, 0 0.4986. Um, uh, for the interpretation, I need to multiply it with the square root of 2. So uh, twice an asterisk actually means to the power of, and to the power of a half is the same as a square root. So this should give me the square root, and that's uh, zero point, uh, times the square root of 2, sorry. So that's about 0 0.71.
Now I'm only interested in the absolute value of this, so I can ignore the negative. And if we then look at that interpretation table, it should come out as medium. Um, the oh, sorry, yeah. So the 0 0.4987 would be considered sorry medium, uh, or uh, if you will, the 0.705. Uh, um, perhaps I should change that to 0.705. That might be slightly more clear. Um, we can, of course, also let Python do uh, this for us. We can use an if function. Make sure you use the proper indentations and uh, double uh, dot here. Not sure what the official English name is for that. And then it simply goes over them one by one. I use else if, elif in uh, short, and that should give me the same result and indeed medium. Um, if you really want, I made a small uh, function that can do all of the work. It takes two proportions as input. The first one should be the proportion from the sample and the second one then the expected proportion. And then it does all the calculations for you and it returns actually um, both the non-directional H2 and its uh, interpretation. Let's see if that works. So if I give it my proportion zero and the expected proportion, it should nicely tell me that uh, it actually reports it as well. Uh, uh, it could be considered medium and um, it gives both results there. Uh, these were some of the references I used and hopefully this gave you a quick impression on how you can determine Cohen's age for a one sample.